Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing something a little bit different with my usual monthly favorites. So I recently saw Patty here on YouTube rank all of her monthly favorites. And then if you watch Julia Adams, she also does a monthly product roundup. So I got inspired by both creators. I'll leave them linked down below. I love both of them. But I thought it would be fun to rank all of the products that I've tried in the month. So ranking it from my least favorite to the most favorite because usually with my monthly favorites I just share with you my top top picks and then also the disappointing products I don't really share what I just generally like in between that because there is a lot of products that fall in that category so I thought it'd be fun to rank everything it would be more of a challenge spice things up a little but if you guys like this sort of format for my monthly favorites let me know down below or if you prefer the old version just a good old old school favorites and fails, let me know. I thought I would just try something different. But before we hop into the video, I do want to give a big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So if you guys haven't heard of Ana Luisa, they are a sustainable jewelry brand based in New York and all of their pieces are fairly priced and ethically made, which means you get really good quality products for a really great price point. And I have been wearing their jewelry for so many years now. I absolutely love them. Ana Luisa is also 100% a carbon and a water neutral and they try to use recycled materials whenever possible so I absolutely love the brand I love what they stand for I love their pieces I feel like there's just something for everyone no matter your style so I picked out three earrings that I want to share with you so I am wearing two currently so the first one I have is in my first piercing this one is called the Frida hoop so it's just a gold mini hoop with a little pearl pendant on it and this might look familiar to you guys because I actually already own this earring but I would say maybe like two months ago as I was taking it off while I was washing my face the little pearl it dropped down the sink and I was so sad because this Frida earring is literally the earring I wear the most it's like my everyday it's my go-to earring I love how simple it is but it still gives like a statement and you guys know how I feel about pearls I love pearls so this is just like my ideal everyday earring so I'm happy that I was able to get another pair and I can wear them again because I lost that that little pearl down the sink so just don't take your earrings off around the sink okay if you haven't learned already but that is the first earring that I picked up and then as you can see in my second piercing this one is called the Ashley hoop and this is a mini hoop with little pearl details on it you could wear it on its own but I really like it in my second piercing next to the Freda earring I think they pair really well with the little pearl details and if you're curious about the earring that's in my helix this one is also from Ana Luisa I have been wearing this one in my helix for over a yeah, now this one is the Casey earring if you are interested in that as well. And then here are the last earrings I picked up. These ones are called the Doby, which is the collaboration with Michelle Che here on YouTube and Instagram. I wanted to pick up one of her pieces because I think they are just so beautiful and I love the Jade Stone and I think this is so classy, but you also can get a little pop of color in your jewelry without it being overpowering. As you guys know, I'm also obsessed with green as well. So I absolutely love these earrings as well. I love all of their pieces. I have necklaces from them. I have rings from them. So if you guys are interested in any of these pieces that I showed today or anything else on their website, Ana Luisa is currently having their biggest sale of the year with 20% off the entire site. So if you guys would like to shop the sale, just click on the link in my description. You can also use my discount code as well. It is Judy Makeup 10 for a little extra discount at checkout. And I would like to thank Ana Luisa again for sponsoring this portion of today's video and with that being said let's go ahead and hop into the video so we're gonna start from the bottom my least favorites and we're gonna work our way up to my absolute favorite so coming at the last bottom place I do have these ColourPop blush sticks that came in their plush me collection so the shades are Skater Boy and Mull Red I personally just found these to be a little bit patchy on me I found them a little hard to work with and for a stick or cream blush I just have others that I prefer more I haven't always been a fan of the blush sticks I decluttered all the ones I had before this so they're just not my favorite and I'm actually wearing one right now it's from the penny collection from Colourpop which I am currently filming a review for so this look is look one if you guys are curious that review will probably be up I'm not sure when this video is going up but maybe next week so definitely not my favorite I would say this is probably the most disappointing products I tried 
this month. I also got to try the CoverGirl Lash Plus Clean Mascara and this is just not a favorite mascara of mine. I think with mascaras, we all have our personal preference. We all have different lash styles and this mascara doesn't really do much for my lashes. I mainly bought this because this was on the 2021 Allure Best of Beauty list. I tried out a bunch of products from the list. I'll link that video up here if you guys would like to check it out. But this wand is just too thick and chubby and the bristles are very short. So for my lashes, I just don't really enjoy this kind of mascara. Doesn't really do much for my lashes either. So this would have to be another disappointing product I tried as well. Next, also from ColourPop, but this one is from the Tinkerbell collection. So I have the Creme Gel Liners in the shade Lost Girl and Fly With Me. I just found that these didn't really show up in my waterline, but keep in mind, I only used this in the looks that I did for that video. I haven't used them again, so maybe with a different look they might pop out more but these are a metallic finish and I just didn't really find they shined as well as their other creme gel liners so this was probably another disappointing product but it does still show up so that's why it's all ranked a little bit higher than the two products I showed before but also from the Tinkerbell collection I have the Super Shock cheek product so there's two blushes two highlighters the highlighter was too dark so I personally couldn't really use it on me um, I probably will pass that on to a friend and then the blush they are a satin finish and typically I don't mind a satin blush but these I don't know maybe it's because I broke out a lot on my cheeks in the past month that these just look really bad on my cheeks I'm not too sure but I'm gonna have to rank this one quite low as well and then the last product in the disappointing category I didn't really know where to put this product because it's not like a dislike but it's not in the like so I thought I would put this at the top of the dislike category if that makes sense. So the product is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation and on some days I do like this and I love the finish of it. It's not a bad product but I feel like most times that I wear it I feel like it clings on to dry patches on me. Um, it's just like a 50-50 foundation and you know we're busy people. We don't have time to have a 50-50 product and take your chance with it if it's gonna work or not, right? For me, I'm not too sure how I feel about it, so it kind of goes in between the dislike and the like, but I would say it leans more to the dislike because I'm not like craving to wear this foundation, so I would have to put it like at the dislike, but it's at the top of my dislike section, if that makes sense. So now onto the middle section. These are my liked products, so I like them. I don't love them them. They're not holy grails, but they're not disappointing. So we're going to start at the bottom, work our way to the top. I hope this kind of makes sense in the way I'm ranking it. So starting at the bottom of my liked list, I would have to go with the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. This is at the bottom mainly just because of the nozzle and the spray, but I don't want to complain because it's so affordable. Um, the spray is very strong. It is very like accurate as well. It's not like a fine mist and I feel like when it comes to setting sprays, the packaging and the nozzle, it's part of it. Like it matters a lot. It has a function to the formula, you know? So I feel like I don't really know how well this works because I don't really spray it like this on my face. I'll spray it on my sponge and apply if that makes sense. So I'll have to put this at the bottom of my life list. I still like it because it is affordable. I feel like it works, so I'll have to give it to this one. Next is from the Tinkerbell collection. So I have the palette called Sprinkle A Little Magic. I did like this palette, but it didn't blow me away, but the formula works really well. So I didn't want to put it in my dislikes category, but it's definitely not like a favorite favorite of mine. I think the formula really saves it. And I do like the eye looks that I created from it, but it was nothing really special. And then you have two sort of dud shades there that are very very light and look very similar to each other so I feel like you are quite limited to this palette and then I thought I would just mention the super shock shadows as well the super shock shadows are always gonna be really good um, I just personally don't find myself using them and these shades in the super shock look very similar to some of the metallics in the palette so it didn't really make sense how they came out with this again so for me like it's not a bad product so I can't put it in disappointing but it's not like 
you know, holy grail favorite status. Next up, I have this eyebrow pencil from Eglips. It's their Natural Auto Brow, and I like this product. I just didn't really get to use it a lot this month, um, just because I am going through my brow pencil in my project pen that's taking me forever to pen. If you guys watch my project pen, then you know. Um, and also that this shade is just really, really brown, and my hair is quite dark right now, so I feel like I can't really use it as much, but it's a really good formula. I think I might pass it on to a friend because the shade is pretty light and I don't see myself dyeing my hair anytime soon. I promise myself that I'm not going to dye my hair, so I'm going to try and keep that promise. So my hair is just going to be very dark from now on. The next couple of products I'm just going to group together because they came from the same collection. This is from the Plush Like Me collection from Colourpop. I have their lip liners and their Luxe lipsticks. These are really good as well. Both formulas I really love. It's just the shades I didn't find myself using a lot, but they are really good products and the shades are really beautiful. But if you see a shade that you like in these colors, then I think you would really love them. You wouldn't be disappointed. But for my personal preference, I just didn't have a shade that was like screaming to me that's, that's going to go into my top drawer. I still love these formulas and I think they're really, really good. And next up, I have a skincare item. So this one is from Glow Recipe. It's their Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. And this is, I think, a deluxe sample size or a mini size. Um, but I got this in um, my little Mecca box. So Mecca is kind of like a Sephora equivalent. They hold Too Faced Urban Decay that Sephora doesn't hear in New Zealand. And depending on your level, every, I don't know how many months, you get like a little box that comes with the large sample sizes. And this came in it. And I was really excited because I've never tried anything from Glow Recipe. And I know my friend, she really likes Glow Recipe. So I was like really intrigued. First off, as you can probably read from the title, it is watermelon so it does have a watermelon scent to it so when I first used it I was very overwhelmed because all of my skincare is unscented so when I was like well, wow, applying this, I was quite scared. I used a little bit at first just because I was afraid that it might break me out, but I didn't have any issues with breakouts. I think this is a really great like a daytime moisturizer because it is a very thin, watery, gel-like kind of texture. Um, and I think it would be great for like a daytime, hydrating, refreshing type of moisturizer. I don't think it's changed my skin, but it didn't break me out either. So I would say it goes right down in the middle in the like category. Next up, I have the Ill liquid powder chromatic eye tint. I have mine in the shade Sheen. This was another product that I tried for my Allure video. I'll leave in the cards and also in my description. And this is a really good product as well. I'd say the formula is just a little hard to maneuver. It's a little tricky to get used to, but once you get it down and you find your way of how you like to apply it, it's a really beautiful finish. Um, it's just, I don't really see myself using it so much, but still a really great product. And then next up, I have a perfume. So I got this little sample size from the brand Arizona Bloom. It came in my little Mecca box where I got a lot of samples with the Glow Recipe one as well. And I wanted to mention this brand because it's actually cruelty free and vegan. And for a perfume, I feel like that's so uncommon. So they sent me the scent Floral Street and it's inspired by London. It's not like my kind of scent, but it doesn't smell bad but I'm really intrigued by the brand and I definitely want to look into them and try something else. This does smell very fresh and I think um, generally a lot of people might like this smell. So next I have the Bite Beauty Power Move Matte Lipstick. I got mine in the shade Mulberry. This was also for my Allure video that I'll leave listed down below and I like this. I really do. It's just the shade for me. It's not my absolute favorite. I think it is a really beautiful color but for like daily preference and what I like. You guys know what kind of lip colors I like. You know I like something like this very warm. I did mainly get this for the video, but it is a really great like fall type of color. Just not like my favorite shade, but formula wise, I really, really do like it. And then let's talk about the Stila Stay All Day Dual Ended Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I really do like this. I probably would add this into my favorites. If the eyeliner was a brush tip, then this would be 
perfect. I wish they had like a felt tip version and a brush tip version. But this eyeliner is dual ended. So on one side, you get a regular eyeliner that's quite long. But then on the other side, you have a little micro tip. So you can be quite precise with it. You can create a very sharp wing with this as well. But these are felt tip. And with felt tips, I do struggle a little bit more than I would with a brush tip. I feel more comfortable with a brush tip just because it's more flimsy. It's more flexible. I feel like a felt tip can be a little bit stiff but the concept is amazing the formula is amazing it's just the type of brush they added into this so hopefully in the future they will come out with a brush tip version of this and I would be really really happy with that the next product is also from Stila as well this is the heavens hue highlighter I got mine in the shade kitten this was also part of the allure video as well but I do like this highlighter I really do it's just the shade like a lot of these items here I like them it's just this shade is not like holy holy grail status but kitten is still really pretty i would say it has more of like a silvery under base with sort of like a rosy gold shift to it but i really do i like this formula it's very metallic very high shine it's very buildable at that as well it's very reminiscent of the super shock shadows in a way i would say that these are a little bit more on the metallic side but this is really really nice and i do like it i can see myself using it when i do more like rosy more pinkier looks and the next two products are both from the brand eglips and i did do a video where i was testing out k beauty so i tried out eglips and unleashia so I'll leave that video up here in the cards and also down below as well if you want to check that out. But I tried Eclipse and I do like these products. I wouldn't say that they're holy grail. I think I just need more time to play with them. But I really, really do enjoy them. So the first one is their From Rosy Eye Palette. And this quad is beautiful. It's very subtle. The shadows are quite sheer. So it's great for every day. Um, and I just love this little quad. I feel like this quad is just me in a little four pan palette i really do like it just need more time to play with it and then this one is the slim fit shading powder and i have been using this one a lot as well i've been trying to experiment with the egg style technique and i have been using this to help me with it i will use this to contour my nose as well but i am currently just going through another contour palette next up is from colourpop it's their it's a mood palette and i really really enjoyed this palette i think it's really grown on me I think there is a lot that you can do with this palette. There's just a lot of color stories and the tones are very appropriate for those of you guys that are in the full time. And it's a really well done palette from Colourpop. Just as me right now, these tones I'm not really using as much, but I can appreciate it. And I think Colourpop did a really amazing job with It's a Mood. And now onto the last product in the liked category. So this would have been in my favorites, but I didn't get to try all the shades yet. So I didn't want to edit it in and plus I've only used it once so I feel like it wasn't fair for me to add it into my favorite so it's going to be at the top of my liked list if that makes sense so these are from glisten cosmetics these are their split liners and they are pretty much water activated eyeliners and I really enjoyed using these so I've only used the pink one the yellow one and the orange one I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to recreate Stacy's stereotype eyeliner looks so I did one so far and I'll put a photo here if you guys want to see it i used these little guys here and i still got five more members to do but i found these really easy to use i found them to be very um pigmented very smooth they didn't crack on my skin either because with like other water face paints they can crack but these don't and they're very pigmented and i really like the split pans because i can mix the shades together um and you just have more options okay now on to the favorites so the favorites category was a little harder to rank but I did manage somehow to rank them but honestly this is just generally my favorites it's hard to just rank all of it but we'll start off with the first product and that is the plush like me palette from Colourpop I really really enjoyed this palette and I can vividly remember all the looks that I created with this palette as well I feel like it's one of my favorite palettes that I've tried from Colourpop this year although I haven't played with it a lot I just know it's a palette that I'm going to 
to think back on and reach out for. Next is from the Tinkerbell collection. I have the lip stains in the shade Clap If You Believe in Tinkerbell. Really, really like these. These were the highlight for me in the Tinkerbell collection. The whole Tinkerbell collection, I feel like, wasn't really that amazing. Um, but these really stood out to me and I really like them. Especially the shade Clap If You Believe. This is just a really great My Lips But Better Everyday type of color. Really love these as well. I feel like I just tried so many lip products this past month. You're gonna see them as well. We're, like, we're gonna get to them. But I really, really did enjoy these as well. What I also enjoyed from ColourPop was their lip cream. I've been wearing the shade Lit Vogue a lot. This is the red in the line. And I've been wearing this one the most out of all of them. Surprisingly, I've just been loving a good red lip. And Lit Vogue has been a really great one. Um, I thought I would just mention the one. I will link my swatches up here if you guys want to check that out as well. The next product comes from Kosos. This is their Air Brow Brow Gel and I love this. Also got this for my Allure video that I keep mentioning but this brow gel is so so good. I can see why it was best of beauty for 2021. I just love how this makes my brows look. It's very easy to apply. It doesn't make my brows look clumpy but it still holds up my brows up as well. Because my brows are very sparse and they're very very thin, I feel like if a brow gel is too thick, it can weigh them down and then my brow hairs will just like droop down again. But this doesn't. This holds it up. It gives it a bit of texture. I really, really enjoy this brow product and it's a new holy grail product of mine. Another absolute favorite, another holy grail product is from Pixie Beauty. This is their Glow Mist. I have been obsessed with this. I feel like every time I spray this on my face, I feel like my skin is just glowing. It looks good. It looks healthy. It looks like I just drank like one liter of water or something because it just makes my skin look really good. I feel like maybe this might be my new favorite setting spray. I really do like the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, but it does come in an aerosol can. thought I would just give that one a break, and I feel like I have found my new one. I feel like the Morphe one is really good to sit in my makeup, make it last all day, but the Pixi one gives me more of like, it's more like a finishing spray, like it gives me a really nice glow. I really, really love this, and once I finish this, I'm so gonna like order another one because I just really enjoy the setting spray. I love the mist on this as well. Everything is perfect. The color is green. I love it. Next up, I have some brushes that I've been loving. These are from Becky G's makeup brand. I don't want to mispronounce it, um, but I'll put it on the screen here for you guys. And I got her eye brushes in my boxy chum, and I've been testing them out, and I haven't really, really liking them. I think the quality on these are really great. I don't think they were too expensive either. I think it was, I think for four brushes, it was maybe like $28, which if you break it down, it's not that expensive for an eye brush. And the quality on these are really nice. Like the handle is like that soft velvet. None of the hair is straying either. I washed my eye brushes after every time I use them. They're just really good quality. I'm really intrigued with her brand now after using these. I want to see what else she has in her line. But these are really nice. Nice. I really really enjoy these and I think they stand out like I haven't seen makeup brushes in this shade I think her whole branding this like cobalt blue it really stands out so I have been loving this as well next up I want to mention the lashes that I'm currently wearing these are from Dove Lashes in the style Fairy Dust and I have been wearing these so much I feel like with a lot of the eye looks that I created this month I was wearing Fairy Dust with it in the beginning I'll be honest I wasn't really a big fan of Dove Lashes I think it was maybe the styles they sent me wasn't really up my alley I just didn't have a good time with their lashes but they sent me fairy dust and I really like them. I wouldn't say they're the most easiest to apply. I do think the lash band is quite thick if we're going to compare it to like my favorites House of Lashes or Petite Cosmetics. I do find them to be a little bit thicker and I actually did order Jessica Vu's collaboration with them. I think it's coming soon in the mail. It's been so long. I've been waiting in the mail for those patiently. I think I probably will like those more because they are more of like a natural lash and the band might be thinner. So that's the problem that I have with some of Doro lashes more glam lashes is that the lash band I find to be very thick and they're not as flexible because I find that my eyes can be quite curved but the quality on these are amazing and I just love how these look on my eyes I've been wearing them like non-stop it has been probably like my most worn lash 
this past month for sure. The next favorite I cannot start wearing. I think today is the first time I didn't wear it ever since I got this product. So this is from e.l.f. It's their No Budge Shadow Stick and I got mine in the shade Perfect Pearl and I actually like to use this in my waterline rather than like an eyeshadow stick. I love how this looks in my waterline. It has a beautiful reflectiveness to it. It's very smooth. It truly does not budge. I actually have another shade. I think it's called like Champagne crystals, um, but that one's a little bit deeper. Formula is amazing. It's affordable. It's elf. I'm obsessed and I love this. Going back into Eclipse, I tried their Blur Powder Pack, and this will blur your skin out, especially if you use it with this puff. Like maybe I'll put a little on now so you guys can see the difference. Maybe on camera. Like if I just go like this. Do you see just like that side is just blurred? I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but let me do this other side. It like mattifies everything down and it just smooths out my skin. And I feel like my skin just looks really, really good on camera as well. Okay, next up, let's just tackle Unleashia because all of the products that I got from Unleashia are absolute favorites. I have been using them, abusing them. I love, love them. Okay, so let's start off with these palettes here. So this one is the Get Jewel palette and this little quad, I love it. I love the eye look that I can get out of this. It's really, really beautiful. I wish I had more time to play with this. This is sitting in my top drawer as well. Well, all of my Unleashed Year products are in my top drawer. I love them. This is a really great quad. This, this little guy here, okay, this is, I'm obsessed. So this is the Tap Me Palette Duo. So it comes with a press glitter and a blush. Haven't been using the blush as much, but the blush is really, really pretty. I don't know why I'm not using it. Like, I don't know why. Like, what am I doing? I need to use it more. But the glitter, I have been taking this glitter on top of almost every single eye look ever since I got this. Like, literally, I cannot get enough. I am obsessed with glitter now, and I know my audience is a little bit more on the western side, so I know you guys don't like pressed glitters, but I love it. I feel like it's a really beautiful way to add sparkle into your look. Then we have their little glitter stick that I've been also obsessed with. I will take this into my inner corner literally for almost every single eye look that I've done. Like if it's not like a palette review where I'm strictly only using the palette, I have been using this. So this has been like my go-to in a corner highlight. It has been the M Cosmetics Dewy Eyeshadow in Luna, then the glitter stick from Unleashia, and then this little chunkier glitter Love it, love it. If you want your inner corners to pop, to sparkle, that is a really good combo. And then lastly from Unleashia, what I tried, their lip products. Oh, I cannot stop wearing these guys. Like, I really can't. So the Hug Velvet Tint has been one of my favorite um, liquid lipsticks to wear. I love this color as well. It is just so comfortable. But what I've been wearing the most on my lips, I feel, is the non-sticky Dazzle Tint. I have mine in the shade number five, and I love how this looks on my lips. I feel like my face just looks bright in. My lips look juicy. And what I actually did, I ordered the entire line on Yestal. I think they have five shades in total. I ordered the rest and I'm going to be filming a lip swatch for you guys because that's just how much I love these little lip tints and how much I use them. I just wanted to collect the entire shade range. So that video, those swatches will come soon. And then since we're on the topic of lip products, um, Kaleidos came out with some new Cloud Lab liquid lipsticks. And my favorite shades have been mostly Pink Moon, but I also have been wearing Bear a lot as well. These aren't a new formula, but these are new shades. And Pink Moon... Oh, pink moon. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to do an updated everyday lip colors video now because I have found so many new lip colors that I love and these would have to be another one. I'll also put another video up here and also in my description where I swatched all of these Cloud Lab lip clays in a video for you guys. 
And then last but not least, I wouldn't say that this is like my favorite favorite product of the month. I feel like towards the end, everything kind of just scrambled and the ranking just got lost because I love them all equally. I can't choose a first place, but the last product is from ColourPop. It is their little heart blushes. So this one is in the shade Kiss and Tell. And I really need to glue my one back in place because it did kind of fall out. And I got all three shades, which I haven't used all. I've only used Kiss and Tell. And and this shade is so pretty. It is so pretty. I just love ColourPop's press formula. It has that soft velvet feeling to it. But this shade is just really pretty. I feel like this is going to be my new everyday go-to blush. Okay, you guys, that was everything that I tried in the month of October. I feel like I need a glass of water now because I've been talking for so long, but this video was super fun to film. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, just hearing me talk about other brands. You can see I'm really trying to try more products for you guys and just branch out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could give the video a thumbs up for me, I'd appreciate it so much. Let me know what you guys have tried in October that you have been loving, that you have been like and also again a big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring a portion of today's video don't forget if you guys would like to shop any of these earrings or anything else on their site you can click the link in my description and use my discount code Judy makeup 10 for a little extra discount and of course just a thank you to you guys for watching this video because if you didn't I would not get sponsorships like this working with Ana Luisa which is like my favorite jewelry brand so thank you guys so much for supporting this channel for supporting me I love you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!